Adam Cole. Adam Cole has AIDS, guys. Let's hit that like button for Adam Cole's AIDS.
How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's got a big one in their pants right now. Okay, show me the big one in the pants. Let me know it's real. Let me know it's real, guys, in the pants. We're going to vote tonight on what you guys think of um, Forbidden Door. So uh, go ahead and vote on that, everybody. Feel free to vote on that. I'm just hanging out playing some Diablo, reacting to the chat. That's what I'll be doing. What do you guys think? I got pissed off at Forbidden Door because I tried to order it. At first, I was going to order it, and then I realized that, you know, I, I don't have the money. I'm not doing this. I'm not paying 50 bucks for this. And then um, I was like, well, I'll use a streaming site. And then, like, the sites were all giving me viruses and crashing and shit. And that was pissing me off. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And so I, I, w I watched the opening half, half of the first match with MJF. So, uh, you know, that was, uh, well... It was what it was. You know what I mean? I mean, I knew I said MJF was going to cheat, and apparently he did. Let me know if that didn't happen, but I'm like, yeah, MJF is going to go out there, have a nine-minute match or something, probably cheat, and then he'll be out of here. And that's exactly what happened. He went full uh, Brock Lesnar. So... We'll see, man. It should be pretty good here at the end, obviously. This looks like... I mean, listen, bro. I mean, bro, Okada and Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, that's going to be fire, dude. Okada and Bryan Danielson is going to be uh, something else. See, uh, ba 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 now I remember Sith Negan a while back sent me a a pretty good site uh for some of the stuff, but uh oh my god bro. Let's try this one. Oh yeah. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what I'm talking about. God, I hate that shit, bro. I hated that. I hated that song. No move in. No move out. Bro, that shit was full on cringe, dude. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. People love it, though. You know? I get it. I can't believe VIP box is still a thing, bro. I can't believe that is still a sight. How do they keep, like, how do they do this? Oh, I'm looking for you. It's fucking hard to find shit. What do you get to go under a, a WWE? You know? Dude, I hate these fucking... I hate doing this. Jesus Christ, bro. I hate this shit. Forbidden door. AEW Forbidden Door. Mm. 
this Friday night. Jesus Christ, dude. Dude, I'm like watching anime people like play with their tits in front of me. Oh my god, bro. This none of these sites like what the fuck, bro? Oh my god, I hate this. Bro, fuck this. I can't even watch it. I just can't watch it, bro. Oh, they're so terrible. Where's MJF? He's like, yo, I'm out. MJF was out like a long time ago. He was like, goodbye. See you later, bro. I think that's the one I was trying to watch, uh, Zach, you know? So weird. I'll try this, though. I'll try it, bro. Mm. Okay, I'm seeing the matches now. All right, Zach, that one worked pretty good. Kenny Omega. Look at that. Omega taking shots here. Osprey. Backing him up in the corner here. And a big chop across the throat maybe there on Kenny Omega. Will Ospreay with an absolute devastating chop. Normally, you catch a chop in the chest. You catch a chop somewhere in the heart area, the solar, whatever, you know, somewhere in the chest. But this was right in the throat on Kenny Omega. The referee, he's ready to come, for God's sake. And now a knee shot right to the eye. And Omega desperately fires away back at Ospreay. And now Omega is just starting to throw his own fist, but he's out of there. He's out of it. He took a shot right to the eyeball, that knee strike by Osprey. And now whipped to the buckle. Omega still a little bit dazed. Able to go up and over like a video game. Kenny Omega, Hurricanrana! Takes Omega, and wait a minute. Omega looking for the finisher. No, rolling through. Moonsault connects. One, two, and a half for Omega. You talk about a comeback. You know, Joe, I think that he's on steroids. All right. No, I think what he was doing was taking a lot of punishment but allowing his body to build up stamina, knowing that he was going to try to move into some kind of offensive counter here. And so he built up some endurance, but he took a lot of damage. And there's Don Callis tripping up Omega. What? And Omega's going after him. Now, why the hell... Who, what is that, Bane? Why is Bane here at the... He's interfering with Kenny Omega trying to go after Don Callis and referees throwing him out here. Now here's another Bane, a security guard here. What are these two guys doing? This Antifa is here. And Don Callis has been ejected. Will Ospreay with a crossbody! Huge authority on the springboard crossbody by Will Ospreay and Omega right through the stairs! Well, that's what he gets for trying to go after Don Callis, a man not even in this match. Well, he tripped up Kenny Omega first, and by the way, Osprey just assaulted a fan in the front row. And into the post goes Omega's arm. Oh, he might have broken Omega's arm on the steel there on the outside. And again, it's justified and it's deserved. They could get him disqualified, but apparently not right now. And apparently we're assaulting fans. We've got Antifa Bane bodyguards on the outside. We've got managers interfering. And now here comes Will Ospreay with a huge backbreaker and a cover. Two and a half that time for Ospreay. And you got to wonder if Kenny Omega has paid off this cunt of a referee.
Why are you saying nobody is worried about that? Nobody here is worried about that. Well, I'm I I'm very worried about it. With who knows what this dastardly Kenny Omega will do in a match like this. Okay, well, I, there's absolutely no evidence of that, by the way. And here's the thing: the only person we've seen so far bend the rules here has been Ospreys at every every other every other interference you could have here. And Omega, you're stuttering because you know you're making it all up. I'm not. No. You. Everybody saw it. You saw it. Don't. I'm not stupid. As question about Brain Buster. One, two, and that time, Omega able to get the left shoulder up. Now he couldn't even move that right one. Or is it the? Yeah, that's the right one's the one I think that went into the post. And if that's the case, it it's either. At the very least, it's severely, deeply, potentially bruised right now. And the longer this match goes, the more that pain is going to consistently bother Omega. If it's not worse than that, Omega with a couple of short jabs to the chest. Osprey just uses that time to rest because, honestly, there really wasn't much on those. And an uppercut by Osprey reversed off the ropes. And here comes Osprey looking for the, look at this stretch, abdominal stretch right into it. Beautiful reaction by Osprey. Beautiful counter. Omega wanted him off the ropes to do some kind of aerial offensive maneuver. And Osprey steps into it and locks it in. Good desperation move there by Omega. I missed it. Our cameras were on the audience. Cameramen suck, but that's okay. That's another thing. Osprey now with Omega off the buckle. Or off the ropes, rather. Duck the clothesline. Omega back off again. Goes downstairs to the legs. Will Ospreay didn't see that. And up and over. Omega down with a bulldog. He barely got all of it because Omega almost collapsed. Well, he's getting tired. And a big punt right to the ribs. Omega head of steam into that bulldog face palm smash into a cover one, two. And Ospreay with a kick out, but there wasn't a lot behind it. It wasn't a lot behind it because Osprey had to use mostly his his upper body to roll out of the the pin, and Kenny Omega couldn't put enough pressure on the cover. Had he done that, I don't think Osprey would have been able to kick out. Maybe, but it would have been close either way. Omega now looking for something, maybe a power bomb. He realizes. Osprey was fighting it, so Omega just goes for a couple of boots, a couple of chops. We saw earlier Kenny Omega getting chopped right in the throat. Now Omega off the ropes, and Osprey caught him. Drop kick, spinning heel kick to the back of the head, and in Sagari. And Omega's rocked on Dream Street now. Will Osprey right on top of the ropes, and a, just a vicious knee right to the face. It doesn't get any more just absolutely devastating than just a stiff knee right to the head. And now Osprey perched on the top rope. Trying to measure him and look at that move! Shooting star explosion onto the back of Omega who is hung on the ropes! What a fantastic move! Omega... Trying to pull himself up, and I God, my God! What did you see that? Unbelievable reverse springboard cutter that caught Omega, I believe, on the side of the apron before that. That shooting star! And Will Ospreay with a running, exploding reverse cutter. Off the springboard, I've never, I don't know if I've seen that before. And quite honestly, I think Osprey didn't get all of it. I think he landed on his back more than he wanted. I think he wanted to plant Kenny Omega's head. And while he did hit it, he also hit the back of his shoulder. And that's what took a while to get him up. And now Omega is kind of fighting this now on the outside. And there it goes, head first into the... Into our desk out here, and now another shot. Omega might be knocked out. Omega might be knocked out. Look at that right in front of Kevin Kelly, that fat son of a bitch. It, now, Joe, you're getting really jealous here. Just because we're doing this over the Internet doesn't mean that you can call this man. Oh, my God! 
Omega has his head just annihilated into the into the table. And Osprey's taking time out here to taunt some of these Toronto fans. Well, they they deserve it. Most of the people in Toronto are pedophiles. Didn't you know that, Joe? No, I didn't know that. I don't think that's true. And look at this. Oh, my God. Omega was unable to get his hands up, was unable to protect himself at all, especially on that last shot as Will Ospreay drove his head right into the table. And that's not plastic. That's not, you know, some kind of manipulated. That's wood. You know, that's solid wood that his head went into right through the banner. And now Kenny Omega is busted open. Kenny Omega went, oh, and now he just smash that forbidden door graphic that's on our cover for our desk well it's not really our desk there joe because we're over the internet it's kevin kelly's desk and probably underneath it somewhere is about four big macs okay you just told me not to insult him by his weight and now you're doing it i don't understand this Oh, I can do whatever I want because here's the thing, Joe. I'm not an American. Well, what? Okay, what? I don't. Whatever. I don't know what that means. But Kenny Omega's in trouble. He is. He's bleeding really badly here, and uh, he's unable to. He, Kenny Omega unable to get to his feet. Will Osprey stalking him right now. You talk about smelling blood in the water. A shark. Right now, that's what Osprey is, and he's just. With a right hand, again, unprotected. Omega was unable to protect himself from those headshots outside the ring. There was about three of them. That last one, the most devastating. And th- and now Osprey is just teeing off on the head of Omega. And this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. And the referee is going to maybe have to stop this. He might have to stop this. Omega just, Omega just collapsed. Oh, yeah, he's lost it. He just fell over. He can't even keep himself up. And what the hell is that? What kind of sick son of a bitch licks the blood of another man off his arm? I'll tell you who does it. The kind of man that smells blood. A winner. A man that's not afraid to put it all on the line against a despicable human like Kenny Omega. Osprey now. Right hands forearms, kicks, whatever he can. The head of Omega is a target now. Back in the day, you wouldn't have gotten away with shots like this in wrestling. But it's all fair game now. And Osprey daring Omega to fire back on him. And Omega does do it. Omega now. He's throwing right hands. What a huge mistake by Osprey even allowing Omega. And oh, a shot that takes Omega right down. Absolutely brilliant plan by Osprey. He's sucking him in. You just said it was a bad idea. It was a great idea. Okay. Kenny Omega is... I mean, Osprey basically opened the door for Omega and uh, Osprey shut the door again. Well, I think that Osprey saw what Kenny Omega had to offer at this point in the match, and this just made him more confident. Now he knows it's over. Now he's mocking him. Look at this. And he, there's a new sheriff in town. Absolutely despicable. And now the V trigger by Will Osprey to the bloody head of Kenny Omega. And the V trigger knocked Kenny Omega to the outside of the apron. Osprey is absolutely in sick mode right now. He's taunting kids in the front row. He's taunting fans. And look at how this is abhorrent right now, to be honest. It really is disgusting. These children are disgusting. They've obviously seen a lot of You know, things they shouldn't see from many of these adults here. As I said about the pedophiles here in Canada here. It's Canada. Whatever. And that's disgusting. Will Ospreay is wiping his body parts with the Canadian flag. This is ridiculous, Omega! With an explosion! 
Why are you taking all this time out to embarrass yourself, to insult the Canadian flag, to insult these fans? And what happens? You gave Omega time to rest, and he clotheslined the hell out of Osprey, and now he's got him by the flag. And Osprey goes for the ride. This is ridiculous. He's using a he's using a foreign object. It's not foreign today. They're in Canada. I mean, he's using it. I know what you mean. Omega is on fire right now. How is he standing? I don't. I told you. I think he's on steroids. Omega's Omega's gonna try to hang Osprey on the outside. Referee's trying to. Make him break the hold. What's the point in anything anymore at this point? I mean, this is just crazy. Well, Joe, you know, it's New Japan rules. I know it's easy to get caught up in all this, but there's New Japan Pro Wrestling rules. And I don't even know what that means, but I know they're not the normal rules. And this match certainly doesn't make sense. It's obviously in favor of Kenny Omega, who's... Follows all these chingling chow maneuvers. Now come on. Oh, a V-trigger! Kenny Omega with a V-trigger. Right into Osprey on the outside. He might have broken the barricade. He took out fans' alcohol. What a V-trigger. Oh, my God, what a shot. There's no lengths that this cheetah won't go to. You know, you really got to stop that. Kenny Omega now talking some major trash back to Osprey, and now Osprey's head. Now face first goes Osprey into the steel steps. Referee's beside himself telling Omega to stop. I mean, you can tell these guys to stop all day. I don't think it's mattered a damn bit in this match. Tell them to keep stop. Stop this. Stop that. People's heads are going into tables. Heads are going into steel steps. Shoulders are going into steel poles. Posts. Are there really a lot of Polish people here, Joe? Oh, wow. Wow, Osprey's busted wide open, too. Man. Omega's bleeding everywhere. Osprey's bleeding everywhere. And now, oh my God, Osprey is really, Osprey is really busted open now. Referees are concerned about it, obviously. Oh my goodness, is Osprey busted open? And the steel steps are being manipulated by Kenny Omega. Just like these people are manipulated by this moron. You know he's from here, right? Yep. Okay. Omega with Will Ospreay on the top of the steel steps. I've never seen this. DDT! Hello, Jake the Snake Roberts! Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Will Ospreay is... Will Ospreay is losing blood in in an... A very concerning way here on the outside. He's convulsing after Kenny Omega put him head first into the steel steps in a massive DDT that would make Jake Roberts proud somewhere. I'm here, Joe. I'm in the bathroom sucking a coke whore's dick. What? Okay. All right. I guess Jake's here, too. I, I. All right. Go back to finish her off, Jake, I guess. I don't know. Look at these palm strikes by Omega. It's going to get nasty here before this thing ends. If it hasn't already. Omega trying to put some kind of a submission hold. This is different from Omega. Omega's looking for some kind of submission hold. Center of the ring. And Omega now pulling the arm. He's going to rip the arm up, but Osprey moved. Transition his body the right way so that he wouldn't lose that arm. Gets the now if it, if this is MMA, if Kenny Omega is an MMA fighter or some kind of submission specialist, this might be over. And Omega has now lost his grip. Osprey now picking up Omega and down on a 
impromptu kind of power bomb by Osprey. Both men are down. Both men are covered in blood. Kenny Omega was trying with all his might to put some kind of submission on Osprey. Osprey countered several times. That made Kenny Omega tired, quite frankly, and that allowed Osprey to then finally pick up Omega. Look at oh my God! Look at the blood on Omega. This is a freaking bloodbath, folks. I have never seen. Oh my God! What a suplex! Osprey suplexes Omega onto his head. Omega suplexes Osprey. Osprey suplexes Omega. Both men may not know where they are, but they know they're able to do things, I guess. Uh, a headbutt, a no-look headbutt by Osprey off the rope. V-trigger. Omega now off the rope. Go clothesline. Spanish fly, Osprey to it, oh my God! Kenny Omega, three inches from the mat, was the referee's hand. Paul Turner. How close was Will Osprey to winning and beating Kenny Omega in his home country? And now he's trying to put a sharpshooter potentially on Kenny Omega in the center of the ring. Bloody faced, blood dripping, pulsating from the temple of Osprey. But this could take out all the energy on both men. Look at the amount of energy that Will Osprey has to spend to try to lock this hold in. And he drags him back to the center. Unbelievable. Omega's still in this. Osprey trying desperately to get a tap, but honestly, I don't think Osprey has it locked in as well as he could. Omega's trying to power out. Osprey kicked away. He jumps back on him with a side headlock, and now cross face. Beautiful adjustment by Osprey moving to the cross face. He wasn't getting enough leverage on the sharpshooter. Omega had the use of his legs, which right now Omega's legs are in better shape than his arms. And I think that's why Osprey realized this, and now he's got a cross face in. Omega has a damaged, I believe, left shoulder. And right now Omega's legs are the only thing that are really moving well on his body. In fact, they're allowing him to drag himself back and roll through. Osprey rolled through and brought him back to the center of the ring and now pounded on the head. And stretching him again, does Osprey. That cross face has been more effective. Omega just shoved him off, but then back to it again goes Osprey. And this will take up, this will take a lot of stamina out of Osprey as well, but not as much, I don't think, as that sharpshooter. And again, Osprey has control of his feet. Omega, Omega touched the rope, and he did break the hold. I guess we are in New Japan rules. Osprey has lost a lot of blood, though. Every single time, every single time Osprey pulled and, and squeezed and stretched Omega during those submission holds, more blood began pulsating out of the head of Osprey. How long is this man going to function okay with this much blood loss? Omega's already almost unable to stand. Both men are severely damaged. This looks like something out of the AEW Fight Forever video game we're going to see on Wednesday. What a chop there by Omega. And now kicks right to the eyeballs, the eye sockets, the nose, the bridge of the nose. A chop again for Omega by Osprey. More kicks to the face of the head and another chop again. The damage being done and inflicted by Omega or by Osprey. Joe, you really got to calm down. I know, listen, I know he's great. You got to chill out, Joe. It's going to be all in the bag. It's going to be easy. Osprey's going to beat Omega. He won't look very pretty doing it, but don't worry, Joe. It's all in the bag for Osprey. You don't got to get so excited. I know how sexy he is. I know how amazing he is. Well, right now he's daring Omega to fire back on him. It's supreme confidence is what it is. Look at that one head butt. And Kenny O'Toole goes down to the knees. Why did you why did you call him Kenny O'Toole? 
Because his name doesn't freaking matter, Joe. That's why. Okay. Okay. And now again, mocking him. This whole match. Oh, he went for the diving cutter. Wow. Omega. The kick right to the face. Omega, like I said, like I said, has use of the legs. I said this earlier. Osprey went for that huge cutter, that springboard, and Omega intercepted it with a kick straight to the face. Osprey playing a little bit of possum and the Snapdragon! Snapdragon! And another one! And the blood is just spewing out again from Osprey! Omega, how is he standing? And now back elbows, elbow strikes by Osprey. Osprey, sternum first off the rope and a knee to the back of the, back to the spine. Oh, poison Rana by Kenny Omega. Omega, spike pile driver. And a cover, one, two, and oh my God. It's ridiculous, Joe, he's, oh my God, he's, his pole turn is ridiculous. It wasn't even close. He shouldn't have counted. I don't know what you're talking about. If anything, this should be over right now. Kenny Omega, Paul Turner's arm came down on the mat as Osprey kicked out, and quite honestly, that's referee's discretion. I think, I think the referee saw Osprey kick out right as his hand was hitting the mat, and it, and it was just in time, maybe, but. Man, I'd like to, I'd like to see a replay on that. Omega with a V trigger. A V trigger to the back shoulder. I think he missed the head, but either way, it was impactful and it nailed Osprey. And look at the blood still just coming out of the head. That that wound is opening more. A lot of times you see a wound seal or seal off eventually, but I am not seeing signs of that yet at least from the looks of Will Osprey's Injury. What the hell is Omega doing on the top rope with Osprey? What is he doing? Osprey's on the top of Omega. Oh, and he goes down. And Osprey now trying to pull Omega off the top rope. Super kick. Oh, man. And uh, Omega dangerously falls off the top rope. But lands on his feet. Beautiful counter by Osprey because he's a genius. And now he's going to the top rope. Look at this, Joe. Watch this. Look out. Osprey! Wow. A huge corkscrew twisting dive by Osprey. Some kind of twister there. Some kind of corkscrew twisting crossbody. That was unbelievable. He connected. And he, and he landed on top of Kenny Omega's bad shoulder. That's the craziest thing about that. Talk about separating a shoulder when all your body comes down. And then from the top rope, a, a forearm delivered right to the back of the head. That might be a knockdown blow. Might be a knockout blow. And now Will Ospreay is going for the knockout blow because he's removing his elbow potentially. Oh, Omega slid underneath it. Both men kicked each other there. Both men clotheslined each other there. And a knee strike by Omega. And now he winds up with a lariat that Osprey grabbed onto, went with it, tilt him around, and now sit down. Powerbomb one, two, and oh no. Osprey was so close. Look at that. That looks just like that looks just like Jesse J's house right now. Jesse J's messy house. There it is. He hit him with the Oz cutter. He got the cutter. That's it. Omega's out. Omega's out. That's it. One, two. No! How did Joey's on steroids? That's it.
It's on there. This has absolutely been an incredible, incredible match. Both men are down. There's been absolute chaos. And now what the hell's going on? What the hell is Don Callis doing back out here again? He's the manager of Will Ospreay, Joe. Don't you know that? That's right. No, oh, just the, just broccoli, bashed potatoes. Crowd's chanting piece of shit at Don Callis. He deserves that. He's a bald piece of shit, too. Add that to the whole thing. These people are rude. Well, you know, here's what I don't understand. Don Callis has been ejected from the match, from what I understood. Paul Turner earlier, I swear to God, he said, go back, which means he's ejected. Why is Don Callis out here now? This makes no sense to me whatsoever. Oh, uh, Joe, it makes all the sense in the world. Don Callis is the manager of Osprey. He's, he deserves to be out here right now. I, did you hear anything I just said? I mean, come on, man. Come on, Joe. It's clear Kenny Omega's on steroids. I think you're on steroids. And why is Bane at ringside still? Is there a reset switch where these guys just get to come back to the ring all of a sudden? I don't understand this. I'm I'm out of the loop on this, on these rules, I guess, that are going on right now. What the hell is Don Callis doing out here? Will Ospreay's on in no man's land. Omega somehow is standing. And he just buried a knee. Honestly, I think he caught him. He just brushed the side of him. I think he caught the shoulders. And I think Omega realizes it too. Omega's so tired, I don't think he connected with the head, which is what he wanted. And he didn't because look at Osprey's making his way back up already. He's already making his way back up. And the broadcast has been interrupted. I don't know why, but the but the broadcast has gone out on us, guys. I don't know what the hell's going on. But obviously something's going on. Obviously you're you're a terrible video guy, Joe. You you hit a button or something. You're a moron, just like Omega and all these Toronto fans. Here comes Omega V Trigger! He nailed Osprey with it. Now Don Callis trying to pull Osprey out of the ring. Paul Turner's in the middle of this whole thing. What is Don Callis doing? Don Callis just, he's just handed something to Osprey. He's holding the referee. I don't know what Omega, Omega's got him up. Osprey's got something in his hands. He just hit Omega in the head with it. What the hell was that? Why the hell is Don Callis allowed to be at ringside? Is that, it's a screwdriver. It's a goddamn screwdriver. Osprey. The strike to the back of the head. Stormbreaker on Kenny Omega. He hit him with a screwdriver and it's over. No, 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 no. What the, what the hell, Joe? This referee's a joke. Kenny Omega got his, got his foot on the rope at the last damn second. No, he... This is gonna this is ridiculous. Will Ospreay used a damn screwdriver on the head of Omega. And Don Callis is still allowed to be out here. And somehow, somehow Kenny Omega goddamn kicked out of it. It's because he's on ster I know he's on steroids, yeah! Yeah, he's on steroids. He got hit in the head with a screwdriver. Because steroids make you impervious to that. It's the only reason. It's the only explanation, Joe. I'm telling you. Will Ospreay's wondering what the hell do I got to do? What lengths do I got to go to to beat Kenny Omega? To cheat Kenny Omega? And now a flushed knee strike to Omega, who's still unable to defend himself because of everything that's happened here. Will Ospreay one-winged angel. 
Oh my god! Omega kicked out of the one wing and Angel in one! All right, Joe, even you've got to admit that he's on steroids now! This is unbelievable! Kenny Omega has the, has the stamina, has the energy of Hulk Hogan right now! Both men striking in the center of the ring! Omega! Lands a knee strike! Osprey with a super kick! And Omega with a brain buster! My god, these men have been through hell! Omega's been through hell! Omega with Osprey! Osprey's up! One winged. No! Oh, suplex! One, two! No! No! Can you believe the stamina, the endurance of Osprey? Don Callis looks like he's going to have a heart attack at ringside. I hope Paul Turner's watching closely. Oh, V-Trigger! Omega lands another V-Trigger. Omega with Osprey. Oh, Osprey reversed it. Osprey now! Stormbreaker now. Kenny Omega out of that, ripcord back, oh my god, an elbow strike! Double underhook, oh! That's it, that's it, Tiger Driver 91, two and three, no! Omega kicks out of that! Osprey now, Osprey, off with the elbow pad! Osprey may have to turn into the devil himself! to win this match. He may have to sell his damn soul to hell to win this match. Osprey with an elbow strike. Send him up for the Stormbreaker. And he nails the Stormbreaker. One, two, three. Osprey has defeated Kenny Omega. I believe you said he'd have to go to hell and back, Joe. But all I can say right now is, I think Will Ospreay is in heaven. An absolutely amazing match, Joe. Well, it was an amazing match. It was an unbelievable match. Amount of fortitude, uh, competition is unbelievable in AEW. It was an amazing match, no doubt about it. It's, I believe the whole tide changed when Osprey was handed that screwdriver, though. And even with that, Kenny Omega was able to survive. Will Osprey is a despicable person. And it's too bad he couldn't try to get it done the right way. It doesn't matter what way he did it, Joe. The fact of the matter is, is he still the, well, is the fact of the matter is he's the new IWGP US champion with Osprey. And Kenny Omega is going to need medical attention. I believe they both will, but right now it's Omega who's in trouble especially with that wound to the head from the screwdriver and Osprey just sitting over him taunting him I got I don't think I've ever seen anybody come back from a screwdriver shot like that and so many other things when Omega shot up after that count of one on the one winged angel by Osprey it was an amazing attempt to defy the thievery that was happening here in this match oh don't make excuses don't make excuses, Joe. You sound ridiculous. Will Ospreay's the one who survived this. Will Ospreay's the one who's got his hand raised at the end of this whole thing. He's the one. He's the champion. He's the man who suffered through the obviously elevated adrenal levels of 
Kenny Omega and his cheating ways with who knows what kind of steroids. Well, how about that? There's a shot right to the head with a screwdriver that was handed to him by Don Callis. My God, that Tiger driver was... How did he not... How did Kenny Omega kick out of that? How did... How did... How did Kenny Omega kick out of that? Could have been said about 13 times in this match. And it could have been said about Ospreay as well, Joe. Give the damn man his credit. He's a, he's a winner. I'll give Ospreay his credit, no doubt. Will Ospreay, with an unbelievable show out here, it's, it, took, it took everything, though. And you know what I mean. It took Don Callis. It took referee distractions. But either way, it was an amazing match. One of the best we've seen, obviously, in a while here in AEW. And Kenny Omega may never be the same after this match. Kenny Omega may never be the same after this match. He may be retiring after this match, after what Will Ospreay just did to him. I don't know. I just got into that. I don't know what was <laughs> what was going on, bro. That was cra- that match was nuts, dude. That match was wild. That that match was awesome. That was pretty awesome. I thought the crowd got tired at one point. They were kind of like like dead. But they were still popping up here or there, you know. What's up with my audio? Hey, is my audio messed up? What's wrong with my audio? What is my audio okay? How's how's my audio doing? Is it better? Lay Suzuki gods, Jesus. Manero Suzuki. Run, you fucking fat bitch. You gotta run, yeah. Don't you think I'm a fucking terrorist? Allison, run, thank you, man. You what up, bitch. Allison? Allison chiming in. Run, you fat <coughs> bitch. Man, my throat. How's it going, Allison? Run, you fat bitch. I didn't expect to be com- to be like yelling and doing funny commentary stuff. I just did that randomly. <clears throat> I didn't get my voice ready for that. If you don't get your voice ready for that, man, you like you blow your head off. Allison, thank you. That is the first donation of the entire stream here tonight. Thank you, Allison. I hadn't even mentioned it actually. Allison, Allison T coming in with that 1999 sponsoring this stream hardcore style. Thank you, Allison. Allison. I'm on here for a few with you guys. What does everybody think of Forbidden Door so far? I mean, um, I definitely I definitely have Okada beating um, Danielson. I probably should have had my better microphone on, too. That, that would have been better than this little microphone. My, my voice blows this microphone out. The little one, I should have had the big one on. If 
fucking jaw hurts. <clears throat> I, you know, MJF, I just, can anyone tell me, because I missed it, did anybody, um, did MJF cheat in his match to win and then just get out of there? Because that's what I thought was going to happen. And people earlier were telling me that's what happened, but I didn't know if they were just like joking with me because that's what I said. They were messing around. So I think I'm going to change my background to black like this, this kind of like the, the foam stuff again, maybe. And I'm going to just do it all black back here. Because I like the way the light hits that. I like that look. I'm going to go with that look, I think, as opposed to the white. Because then I can have the lights on brighter and it light me up, but the background stays colored. But with the white background, you know, you're looking at, like, it's, like, washed out. So, I don't know, man. I th I'm thinking of doing the black. Shit over bomb. There. Omega versus Sosprey is the greatest wrestling match I have ever seen. I am absolutely speechless. That was crazy, man. Omar Fakarani, uh, thank you for the five dollars, bro. That was um, that dude. That was really pretty good. I really enjoyed that. I will probably go back and watch that again. And yeah, if there was a match that I could tell people to go back and watch, um, yeah, I, I thought that was chaos. I thought it was fun chaos. Omar, Omar, thank you for being a shit bum, bro. Um, yeah, that's one of the, that, that was a really good match. I really liked it. I loved it. In fact, I love, cause I was getting so hyped up during the thing. Like somebody, somebody out there is, or somebody out there is probably syncing up the match with my commentary. And then like, you know what I mean? And then putting it somewhere with crowd sound effects. <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. Somebody did that on daily motion once with one of my, with something else. They were like, look at this. And I was like, what the hell? No, probably not. Though. Um, Yeah, it was I'll probably have to watch it later when I'm not joking around and like screaming and stuff like and I'll just watch it, you know, just to see it. Turn up the volume, hear the crowd, you know, because that crowd, I mean, the crowd sounded pretty good during it at times. Then there were other times where the crowd was just exhausted, like they couldn't believe I mean, listen, man, I don't always love those matches, right? I don't always love the false finishes and the knockouts. I mean, some of it makes no sense. You know, like Omega randomly just shot up like like Hulk Hogan. I did not expect that, dude. I, I popped too because I, I was like nailed him with the one-winged angel and then all of a sudden the guy just shoots up on one. I mean, that was some Hulk Hogan type of stuff. I thought that was crazy. <clears throat> um, what did you say, Haskell? Oh, thanks, Haskell. Thank you, Haskell. Yeah, you know what was driving me nuts about it, Haskell? Uh, the reason why I was upset at it earlier why I wasn't watching and I am watching now I've been watching a little bit the reason why I was upset was because I was trying to just play some you know Diablo you know I was trying to hang out and play some Diablo at, you know Ed and um I uh the pop-ups are driving me nuts but you know what I had to tune in eventually and I did and I'm glad I watched that match because that was probably the best um actually they both do <clears throat> Sting in uh got the Halloween jacket on, man. Sting with the Halloween jacket. Dude, the Tiger Driver 91 is just crazy. Like I never understood that move, man. It's like you're literally practically dropping someone on their head. Like somebody has to have the right neck to take that and the point of it usually is that 
you know, you're going to use your neck. Your neck's got to be powerful, but on top of that, you've got to get your hands down because your hands have to come down, hopefully, to sort of break up some of the impact, right, in my opinion. But Jesus Christ, bro, that Tiger Tiger Driver 91 was brutal. Like, it was fucked, dude. That was crazy. I will never forget what I just saw. Like, that was... That was like, dude, you just picked him up and perp it was like, we're going to drop you on your head. It was, I mean, it wasn't just a good, it wasn't just a Tiger Driver 91, bro. That was one of the craziest ones I've seen. Like, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there have been plenty of other ones that are devastating as well. The move in itself is kind of that, supposed to be that. But like, to me, like the way it happened and what happened, like, I don't know, dude, that was just crazy. That was crazy. But yeah, you, you you hope to you hope to land on some of them shoulders and hands, and you got to have a strong neck. Good lord, bro! No, this show this show ain't over, not by a long shot. Thank you guys for the donations. Uh, by the way, thank you so much, man. Thank you guys. Thank you, Allison, Omar. Thank you. <clears throat> I go through my voice out. I appreciate it. We're just kind of hanging out a little bit tonight on a Sunday night. Have a little talk. Not doing the best wrestling analysis, you know, exactly tonight, but just kind of having a little good time hanging out with you guys a little bit, you know. Let's see if I can get the stream back up. Mine's down. Sting is getting a fucking ovation right now. Maniro Suzuki. Suzuki. Number one. He faked out uh, Darby. That was great. That was pretty funny. Boy, oh, Suzuki. Suck my suck on my Suzuki. <clears throat> How's everybody feeling tonight, man? Here comes Sting. I'm not going to do any more commentary tonight because I'll throw my voice out. And I think that was the match to call, to be honest. With my two voices. Hope you hope it was funny. Look at Jericho's. Jericho's, uh, you know. Jericho's looking sexy, let's be honest. You'd bang Jericho, you know? I know I would, right? Oh my god, bro. Every two seconds the video goes down. Every two seconds this video goes down. That's like the 17th time tonight. Oh my god, bro. I can't do it. I wasn't paying 50 bucks for it. I was like, nope. Not doing this. I paid all my bills. Jay and Joe's world, Darby turns in Sting. Sting's last match is Sting versus Darby. You think so? That's a good prediction. What's what's Darby going to say? Like, oh, you, you held me down. You know, you, you're using me. You know, I, but I just can't see Darby doing it. You know what I mean? It's hard to see it. I mean, maybe they could they could do that, and they could do something like that. Mickey K9, thanks for being a member, bro. Thank you for being a member. I could see them, you know, being like, "Oh, you know, yeah, you 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 you're relying on me to bring your old ass around." You know, I, I guess I don't know. I just feel like that's so contrived. I don't know. Like it's been done, and you know, I don't know. 
I like Darby and Sting. I, I don't want to see them have any kind of problem or falling out or whatever. My root, my ceiling, sound, my soundproofing stuff started falling down off the top, and I think it looks cool. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put up stuff behind me like that. I just left it because I thought it looks like I'm in a like I'm in a star Star Trek space wreck from 1960. You know, I like it. Is my stream back yet? No. Um. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> Jericho, I mean, bro, all they've got is Sammy. Sting is so funny, bro. Sting now dresses kind of like Michael Myers, right? Like Sting, Sting just comes out like Michael Myers. I think it's funny. He's like stock. He's like basically, you know, because he can't quite wrestle that well anymore. He can just kind of walk around and do the little things here or there, which is fine. That's all he needs Sting to do. But Sting is kind of like, you know, this Michael Myers, lurch, lurchy Michael Myers guy stalking you around the ring in regular pants with boots on and whatever. You know what I mean? It's just kind of funny. Darby's going coast to coast. Who's their tag team partner? Oh, I, I know who it is. Okay. Now, everybody here, if you guys want to catch my... um, Oh, look out. Spanish fly. Oh, my God. That was crazy. They, like, fell as they did it. Oh, my God. Look at Aubrey's ass. I got to give it to her on that. That looks pretty good. Kind of cool. Um, If you guys want to watch my Diablo coverage on Diablo 4 and some of my YouTube videos on that, you want to go subscribe to my gaming channel, which is Evil Spectrum 3, the number 3. So it should be YouTube.com slash Evil Spectrum 3. I don't know. It's Evil Spectrum 3, though. It's little videos. If you guys want to do the gaming stuff over there or whatever, obviously Twitch.tv slash Evil Spectrum 3 as well on Twitch. Um, Star Trek, if you want to do the Star Trek stuff with me, it's uh, Star Trek Late Night is the name of the channel. I'm just kind of hanging out, taking it easy tonight, you know. That's all. Bro, did he just spit into the crowd? Or did, it looked like he he pretended to spit on Jericho, but he actually spit into the crowd. That was so weird. It was like he spit into the crowd. The video has been blocked at the copyright owner's ex 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 uh, request. Dude, can you imagine like how many times they have to take the stream down after and there's like someone from AEW or something who's like issuing copy like how do they even do this? You know what I mean? I don't even think it's really been taken down. I think it's just the website takes it down on purpose so that you have to click on another thing so they can make money and probably hack you or something. You know what I mean? Like I don't even think that they really are taking videos down. I think the sites just want you to keep clicking on ads. Damn, man. Nobody does a suicide dive like Darby, bro. That is crazy. Oh, my God. I think Darby just knocked himself out. Darby just... I swear to God, Darby just knocked himself out. He just headfirst dove into Jericho and hit the back of Jericho's back. Oh, Jericho hit him with a... Okay, Jericho punched him. and Okay. Like a no-look shot. Oh, my God, dude. I literally thought Darby just hit his back and actually cracked his head and knocked himself out because I was like, Why? what's going on? That's so funny. I didn't see that Jericho caught him. It was so fast. That's funny. That is, <laughs> that is really funny. If the replay didn't happen, I might not have caught that. Jericho setting up a table.
He's a table man. Table man. What are the chat saying here? Allison Tuckwa. Diabetes monster sting following him around. Just kidding. <laughs> what the fuck, is Allison? <laughs> oh, my God. Meltzer at this point is running out of tissues. Yeah, Meltzer is going to be dropping a five star on that probably. Commentary said Judas effect. Couldn't really see it though. Yeah, I agree. Get ad blocker extension. That's a great point, Jag. I don't know why I don't have it. I'm watching it with no audio. That's funny, Haskell. Haskell. Oh yeah, we lost Bunny the other day. Yeah, she left. She literally left my Patreon because of, because I what I said about, uh, Orange Cassidy. I felt bad. She was very upset. Sorry. I apologize. I felt bad that she was that upset because I was yelling at Andy and their friends or something. I felt bad because I was just kind of kidding. I was going over the top on purpose. You know what I mean? That sucks, man. I didn't mean to make her upset. You know, I say, dumb, I, you know, I say a lot of dumb things, you know what I mean? And I don't, you know. Oh, my God, bro. Goodbye. Guess not. Code breaker was crazy. <laughs> he looks rocked, dude. That code breaker was wild. Jericho with the short leg drop look at Aubrey of course Aubrey's in this match right Jericho's there Aubrey I mean I'm telling you Jericho has sex with her dude no way you can't convince me out of that Jericho bangs her dude if I was Jericho's wife I would be like yeah why does she ref all your matches you know what I mean? What's the fucking reason? If I was Jericho's wife, dude, are you serious? Like, I would say that. There's something up there. Something is going on. And we lost the feed again. Great. God, I hate this. Can we go back to the days where I had a lot of money and I could just buy every pay-per-view and I didn't care? Jesus, this sucks. Find another stream. Oh, my God, bro. Sting is really laboring to, to walk around. I can't even hear commentary right now because the audio is jacked up on the streams that I'm finding. Or whatever. They're manipulated so you can't hear it. So you got to click something. I don't know. It's really weird. All right. I'm looking at you through the glass. Don't know how much time has passed. All I know is that I feel my erection. Yeah, one more match for Sting. Uh, good Lord. All right. It's Diablo time. Yeah. My food. The woman makes the food and then I eat it. That's how we do it in my house. The woman makes the food and then I eat it. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, nah, I was being nice. I was saying mom made the food. That was crazy. I was putting her over. Uh, uh. All right, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab my food. Will Osprey.
I piss myself. This has been crazy. This has been too long. I think you might be right. I just went to grab my food, yeah. I haven't eaten really in a while. I have not eaten in a while. My kids are playing together nicely. I'm hungry. This is the full this is the douchebag look, bro. Like the the call the open collar, like really open with the shell necklace. With the beach guy neck like with the surfer guy necklace. Like that's full douchebag. I, I really do look like this fucking bizarre surfer douche like used fucking I look like a used car salesman. That's what I really do look like. I really do like the old and the older I get, the more I look like a used car salesman. It's really funny. I embrace it though. I am looking like like this fucking like baseball dad or something. <laughs> like it's I don't know. I just, I look funny. I'm a funny looking person. I think. I missed the final countdown. I missed the whole thing. I can't find a stream that works. And people keep sending me them too. And I keep clicking on all these different things. I probably have 900 viruses right now. God damn it, I can't find one. None of these are working. I cannot find a fucking stream. Oh my God. Finally, here's Daniel Bryan. Bryan Danielson. Bryan Danielson's here. I've been missing the Okada match. I feel like there was way too much stuff before this. Like, this was the match I was looking forward to the most.
But that Kenny Omega match was too crazy. Oh, God, uh. Is this Remsburg or whatever, the referee? I heard Jim Cornette one time. He was like, I used to like goddamn Remsburg or whatever until I saw him fucking wrestle a ghost. Fuck him now. Like, it was really funny. Cornette actually used to like this guy. He's the one referee that Cornette liked, apparently. Which is weird, because I think he's the most ridiculous of the men. Yet, G Cornette liked him? With his weird fucking gay, like, type of swan fucking pin count. And Cornette liked him. But now Cornette doesn't like him because he found out he re he, he uh, refereed a ghost match. Man, there is nothing better than some broccoli with salt on it, cooked in salmon, with salmon. Oh, I'm still awake, Allison. Omar, thank you. We're still here, baby. We're watching on a weird streaming location. Oh, there goes the video. There it is again. We lost it again. Video not found. Oh, my God, bro. Well, fuck that. We lost the video.
Okada. <clears throat> How big do you think Okada's package is? Let's be honest. Like, it's got to be pretty good size, right? Yo, why did my light go off? Oh. I couldn't when Kenny Omega did the Hulk Hogan um thing. I pretty much marked out for that. I like to go back and listen to me my call of that. I was insane. What was it? You gotta find the part where you like where you Hulk Hogan. I liked I liked that the whole time I was doing the commentary, my my British Australian whatever Nigel McGuinness voice whatever I was doing, I liked how that guy the whole time was like Kenny Omega's on steroids, and at the very end he literally kicks out of all this damage and and a one winged angel and he kicks out at one and then shoots up. I thought that was really funny <laughs> and gave all the credence to that comment and I thought it was funny. <laughs> All right, Joe. Now a flush knee strike to Omega, who's still unable to defend himself because of everything that's happened here. Will Ospreay one winged angel? Oh my God! Omega kicked out of the one winged angel and won. All right, Joe, even you've got to admit that he's on steroids now. This is unbelievable. Kenny Omega has the, has the stamina, has the energy of Hulk Hogan right now. And striking in the center of the ring. <laughs> Omega. Lands a knee strike. Osprey with a super kick. <laughs> yeah, it's like, how are you going to beat that now in the main event? You know what I mean? How are you going to beat that now in the main event? You know? No way. Oh, D. Welsh. I don't think there's going to be a, I don't know, man, a dono war. I don't know. Hey, man, I'll take donations. They're open. I need them. They're up. But I wouldn't expect a war again after last night. But, hey, man, anything anything can happen in JCS. You know what I mean? Uh, anything can happen here. Shell shock. You guys know that. I know that. Anything can happen here. We all know it.
Yeah, Okada, Daniel, Bryan, uh, Brian Danielson. I mean, this is, you know, this is the match I was looking forward to the most out of any match. Okada and Danielson is the match I was looking forward to. But, I mean, that, that Omega uh, Osprey match kind of, you know, that shit, that shit stole the shit for me. Yeah, D. Welsh. I can't believe it, man. I, I, Leah won, really, it seemed like. And then right as I was ending the stream, somebody, I forget who it was, dropped another couple bucks for me. And I ended up winning as we went off the air. I stole it from Leah at the last second. Crazy. I stole it from Leah last second. Yeah, anything can happen except Ryback won't be here. That's the only thing. Let's take the puzzle ring. We got a puzzle ring. Let's use it. F it. And I just thought, F it, F it, F it. Remember the Ultimate Warriors uh, confession? Plenty of gems. Plenty of legendaries. If I, I can't play D4 right now, I feel like, because I'm in 60 frames. If I put on D4 right now, my computer would crash. So I just, I was like, oh, I'll play D, I'll play some D3. I keep hitting, do when I go back to D, Diablo 3, I keep forgetting that there's no spacebar jump anymore. And I keep clicking spacebar. I did the same thing when I played Wilson for a little while. So I keep clicking spacebar thinking I can jump around. And it's like, oh yeah, there's no spacebar. I keep forgetting. It's the only thing that's throwing me off. Plus the fact that in Diablo 3, you fly around like a maniac. Like, <laughs> Then you go back to Diablo 4, and you're slow as hell. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm slow. Cool ending, Jacob cried over nothing. Yeah, well, oh, listening to Jacob RP cry was kind of funny. Leah got a creaming cream ending. <laughs> she did actually. Dude, I don't know what it is, but you ever seen bro? Sometimes girls, man, they get big piles of cream in there that come out of like it's very crazy. Man, like it's like I'm like that you and you look at them and you're like, did I just go did I just do that? And but you didn't, it's them. They're like excreting it. It's crazy. And but you know what I'm talking about? When you got a girl and she's all creamy in there and you're like, what the hell is that? Like, oh my God. It's like they're like they're creaming it out. <clears throat> yeah. What up, Rando? Rando Craig. It's big one, <laughs> says Allison. What up, Allison? Okada. What's going on? My stream's down. My stream went down, so I can't see the match. We're twenty minutes. We're gonna be like forty minutes into this main event. They're like they're gonna treat this like it's an Iron Man match. Look at my primal dawn. Uh. It looks so cool. I don't know. I love how they did the primal this year that you get. I can like. Oh. Oh no, it oh it clicks off it when I do that. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Oh there it goes. 
I can zoom in on my primal dawn. Make it like really red. Leah, wake up. I don't know why it just looks cool to me. Like that background. Daniel Bryan's dead. Brian Danielson is dead. He's convulsing. <laughs> Running knee, the Basaiku knee kick. We need the Basaiku knee kick, bro. It's my favorite. I remember we used to love talking about that, me and me and Chris, back in the day when I first started this show. When Chris was my co-host for the first seven months of my show here, uh, we used to love talking about because I used to call it a running knee, and he was like, well, no, it's a Basaiku knee kick. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Your rogue sucks. Evo General, what up? You want to go look at my rogue? Let's look at my rogue real quick. Okay, let's take a look at my rogue. All right. Let's go over to Diablo 4. I do that when I get excited. I don't know why. This might be a little rough, though, because my computer just can't handle this, I feel like. We'll see. Oh, there's the yes. You don't care. Hmm. Damn. Where's me? Why am I? What the fuck's going on here? Oh, I see. Uh, so one of the things that I found for my rogue that I that has actually been helping me that that helped me a little bit was this unique. It's not the best unique, but it's called Grasp of Shadow. And it although I lose critical hit chance and some other things which are not good that I'm losing like dexterity, it's almost it's almost a wash. It's almost don't use this, but um damaging vulnerable enemy with a marksman or cutthroat skill has up to 30% chance to summon a shadow clone that mimics your attack. So it's like every, I don't know, like every 20 seconds or so, tw every 20 or 30 seconds, those things end up getting summoned. And then just, like we just, like it gives me like 50 to 60% more like damage on top of my damage. Or it not, not it, it does like times... Not times two, but like times 1.5 of what I'm doing. So it's not quite a double of my damage, but it's close. So what up, Devante? Yes, I'm, yes, Twisted Blades, yeah. So like if I go... No, let's go to... Well, let's go to Ironhold. Because I'm using Twisted Blades, so... Burp, burp. I really, really badly want to use something different. Like, I want to make a new build or something. But until they, until Blizzard puts in the ability to change builds, you know, to switch out builds on the fly, it's like, dude, I'm not doing this until Blizzard. I just don't want, it's like I don't want to change my build around, really. Because I don't like taking everything off and putting it on. It's al I almost rather make another character, but I don't want to do that either. So it's like... So this is, t I'm on, I mean, I could be on tier four right now, but I'm on tier three because I'm just been 
like farming gold and whatever. I have kind of a different, an, al an alternate version of Twisted Blades right now, though, because of some things I found in skills. I so I have things a little bit off compared to how I used to have it set up. So I like going. Iron Hold is definitely still super viable. Look at Okada. Okada, baby. I had Okada winning over Brian Danielson. I did not think that the Kenny Omega match was going to, like, steal the entire show with Osprey. I mean, that was crazy. Like, dude, that the crowd was dead after that. You know, how could anything else be... I'm trying to show you the Shadow Clones. Like, they haven't spawned yet since the beginning. We gotta go get the key and then we'll get a pack and then we'll, we'll run into a big pack of people and use it. Yeah, here's the key. Trying to get the shadow clones. Now, when the shadow clones spawn, because of this unique, they don't really mimic you though. They just stand there, but it just increases your like one point five is your damage, or times two, almost times two is your damage. But it's like they don't do anything. You know what I mean? Now, was that the second best? Um, was that the second best um, match of the night? What's the best match of the night? Is it Omega? So the number one best match of the night could be Omega, right? Let me see what the poll says real quick, and then we'll get to this. Taking a look over at the poll, we've got 256 votes. 256 votes tonight. AEW Forbidden Door. Big night. Uh, if you guys want to donate, the link is up top. You can use the link to donate, uh, or you can super chat or something like that. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, I would say probably Omega Osprey is my favorite. I got the most excited for that. Although I was, but dude, I was all in for um, Brian Danielson and Okada. That was that was the match that I was looking forward to the most. You know, I was convinced, like, yep, that will be the match of the night. That will be the match I'm most looking forward to, and let's see what happens. I don't really care that much. I mean, maybe I, I think in my head I thought I thought Omega was like my second most important match. Forbidden Door is amazing, thirty six percent of you. Okay, thirty three percent of you. So, like, what is that? Sixty nine percent. Thumbs up. Still pretty good ratings here for AEW from you guys. So. Still really, really pretty good ratings from you guys. Those are some damn good ratings, man. Oh, yeah, so my rogue. Okay. Ooh. Oh, protection shrine. Nice. Bonus. Let's go. Pretty pumped up. I can't believe my computer's dealing with this right now. It is a little, like, laggy. It's so funny how Diablo 3 is way smoother feeling to me. When I get in this game, it's, like, delayed and, like, hitting buttons, it's delayed and things are crazier. It's very strange. I don't see that in D3 at all. Like, I hit that button a minute ago and he, she, like, does her little dive way later you know it's just crazy how that works yeah but i'm thinking that um flat ending to okada and danielson yeah I, I i still think that might be the second or third best match of the night uh but i would say that i've got to i've i've got to give it to omega and um yeah osprey because it was just nuts it was 
It almost wasn't fair, dude. They just what they decided to do out there was ridiculous. Like nobody stood a chance after that. Like that was ridiculous. You know? Kind of ridiculous, you know? If I'm someone else in the locker room going on after that or whatever, I'm like, yo, fuck this. I love this. I love the density in here. Ooh, you legendaries. In that cage. Um, my bag's full. Mm, I'll go back to town. I'm paranoid about legendaries, though, so I'll hold on to it. Even though it's like a garbage piece of shit. Um, I want to I want to taste Sky Blue's cream. What the frig? Holy crap! Patriots are signing Delvin Cook. Maybe Danielson just won by submission. He made Okada tap out, guys. That's crazy. I had Okada winning this. I am blown away, dude. I am blown away. I was convinced. Dude, I I am shocked. I thought I thought Brian Danielson, I thought Okada was winning. I had Okada winning. I'm shocked. And also Osprey won earlier on Omega, too. I mean, but up until that point all AEW people had won. But I'm still blown away, dude. That's still... I'm still surprised. That's crazy. I cannot believe that, that Okada put him over. I don't know why I thought... Oh, I was just convinced. I was convinced. That's crazy. I think Omega and Will Ospreay went overtime, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it does. It feels like they fucking went crazy, like, what they were doing. Like, it, yeah, of course, it really did. It felt like they went way overtime. It felt like they went way out of their way overtime. Hell yeah, baby. Mickey Canine has become a member again. Mickey K9, thanks for being a member, man. 21 months in a row. Insane, Mickey K9. Thank you, bro. I salute you, Mickey K9. Um, you know, I, I I do think that the Will Ospreay and Omega match is something you'll probably watch again. You know, you might watch Okada and, and Danielson again. Maybe you'll check out what Punk did. Um, do I think this show was worth 50 bucks? I mean... I guess if you paid 50 bucks for it, the uh, the Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega match saved it for you, maybe. You know what I mean? But if you, if that didn't happen, this show was was a little bit under under par until that. <laughs> no, he's lactating all the time. I don't like that. I, um, you know, if I if I if I paid nineteen ninety nine for the show. I would have been happy. I would I would have been like, damn, yeah, nineteen ninety nine. That show was worth was was worth it. That's fine. That was pretty good. But you know, fifty bucks. You know, that's pushing it. Yeah, Pacharo did get banned for a month courtesy of D. Welsh. 
Jabroni Jabba, the artist formerly known as Omega Osprey was great. I'm not an Omega. The rest was okay. How many forearm battles did we see tonight? Yeah, there was a lot of forearms, back elbows, springboards. Um, there was a lot of shit tonight. There was a lot of repetitive kicks and punches and things like that. You know what I thought was crazy was, um, you know what? I'll be honest, too. I think it might have been Athena's match. I thought Athena's match was short but nice. I think it was Athena's match. Who did she wrestle again? It was at the beginning. The, the girl looked like she got hurt for real. I couldn't tell if she was trying to sell a rib injury or if she actually cracked her ribs. Like, I honestly, I wasn't... I don't know if it was like I just wasn't paying enough attention to really know. And I, and I think that's what the case is. I wasn't really sure. But whatever it was, it added to the match and made it more interesting. And I liked it. And so I think I thought Athena's match was pretty good. I actually liked Athena's match. And whoever it was she was wrestling, I, I now I don't remember now. But I thought the match was good, and it was a pre-match. It was an opening match. Most of, most of the opening matches tonight I thought were nice. Like, they weren't – it wasn't anything crazy, and but it was – I thought they were pretty solid. Now, I'd have to maybe go back and watch again and remember how solid I think they were. Maybe there was some shit that wasn't so good, but I thought the the buy-in or whatever was, was pretty solid. I, I might – yeah. Mustafa, what would you think, bro? I'll have to check out Discord in a minute. Let's get in this cage and fuck these guys up. So how's your rogue doing? What level is your rogue? Uh, who was it that has a rogue? Two people have a rogue and somebody else. I forget what level everybody is. I don't know. Have we seen my shadow clone yet? I, I can't even... Sometimes I'm in the middle of all these people when the shadow clones come up and so you don't see the shadow clones because they're like buried in the mass of humanity or whatever, bodies. All right, this, I think there's there might be one more pack of people, like a good pack. Maybe not, though. This isn't a big pack. This is small. I thought there would be... Maybe we already beat the pack? I thought there would be one more big pack. Nope. We got it. We got everybody. I thought we didn't. I don't know why. I thought we didn't get it. Oh, shit. Sacred ring drops. Let's go. Wrestling alone was phenomenal. Booking on the main event, arguable, but passable. Yeah, it's kind of like how I felt, Rastafa, that it's like... You know, it was passable tonight. Some things are pretty good. But, dude, that Osprey Omega match was nuts. Oh, yo, Luke, did you see it? MJF not in the main event again. You know, I don't know what was up with that, but I, I just know that match needed to be kind of short anyway, so it makes sense, I suppose. Uh, Brent Porter above said earlier, Joe, I like the Athena match too. She's been killing it in ROH. Yeah, man, she's actually wrestling how she used to wrestle on the indies back in the day. Because back in the day, we used to love Athena. I remember you used to praise her, and then when WWE signed her almost 10 years ago now, um, we were like, oh, shit, she's coming to WWE, hell yeah. But then she never fully, like, was Athena. Like, her Ember Moon character, she wrestled a lot softer than, you know... And, and you know what it was? Is her reckless nature on the indies made her better, made her more fun and interesting to watch, I think. And WWE trying to sort of mold her into their safer whatever style. Um I just think that that's like when she obviously changed and things went a little weird. Well, level 63 ring barrage of arrows has a 24% chance to split into two arrows whenever you ricochet. Yeah, that's a common legendary power that I see all the time, but the ring itself is pretty 
eh, it's not really that good. <laughs> I've got 27 lightning on the other one. So the only thing we're gaining is damage to close enemies and crowd control and freeze. And we're losing vulnerable. We're losing maximum life. We're losing life regen. We're, I mean, no. This, fuck, this ring's fucked. That ring sucks. That ring sucks, bro. That ring sucks. Yo, you going to bed, Allison? Good night, Allison. You have a good night, Allison. Tuck it in. Tuck in the tuckwab. Tuck it in like it's a Target swimsuit, brother. Tuck it in, tuck it in. Uh, Toronto, always really pretty good, obviously. I thought there were times tonight where they were exploding. Um... Mm -hmm. Omar, thank you for the five dollars earlier. I don't know why it just told me on my phone. It played on the show, so but I don't know why on my phone it just told me. How you guys been tonight, man? I hope everybody clicks that like button. We've been live since uh, over an hour ago, and I was doing some commentary for Omega. And if you want to laugh, go watch the Omega osprey match again but sync up my commentary with it and i was just being a jerk off so if you want to see me being or hear me being a jerk off and you missed it i guess go back and listen to that and i don't know feel kind of weird i don't know enjoy it um ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah you could tell brent you could tell oh the scrum's going on we'll have to listen to it Let's listen to the scrum. Yeah, you could tell that WWE made her change her style. Like, we said that. When, because after a little while, it was like, why is she wrestling so weird? And she doesn't seem comfortable and whatever. It just, she didn't seem right at all. You know what I mean? Like, from the get-go. And it was because, you know, they, um, they made her change. Man, listen to the music they're playing at AEW. It sounds like a it sounds like the Diablo cinematic. One man will come out of the fire. It sounds like the new Mission Impossible movie. This summer, Tom Cruise is back. Mission Impossible 95. One man, 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 man will defy odds. This sounds crazy. Everybody's looking forward to CM Punk uh, eating some muffins or something. God damn, this music is crazy. It's so weird. It's just going to keep repeating. That music is so like I mean, we're that's like that's some serious fucking like Audio Nation fucking cinema trailer music. If you want to laugh, look at Mr. Pico, says Luke Rojas. DF Sports, man, you're only 21. Holy shit, bro. Kill, I would love to be 21 again. <laughs> Can I be 21 again? Oh, my God, bro. I want to be 21 again. That's a song right there. Darby and Sammy are injured. <laughs> are they really both injured? The young guys in the match got injured, not the old guys. But Charles, thank you for the $3 donation, man. 
Uh, Allison Tuckwab is on top, though. I'll put her up here. Allison T with the 1999. That's the biggest one, I guess. Yeah, dude. Oh, we got a uh, nice salvage out of that. Let me see if I can uh, flip a legendary. I need an ath, an affect. Oh, fuck. I ran the wrong way. We'll talk about AEW. We'll talk about you guys. We'll talk about whatever you guys want tonight. Some people wanted to see my Rogue in Diablo 4, so I switched over here for a second. Like I said, Grasp of Shadow. Five or six out of ten unique item, I would say. You know what I mean? It's not the best thing, but it's pretty cool. You tore your bicep? Jesus Christ, dude. Spend more money on your scrum music. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, bro. That's got to be crazy. I've never hurt myself like that. I'm very lucky. I mean, one I pulled my hamstring once. You know what I mean? I did a slight tear, maybe. I either slightly tore it slightly or I pulled it. I probably just pulled it, though. A tear I probably would have known. But I did feel I did hear a pop when I did it. But, uh, yeah, that's the worst. Besides spraining my ankle several times, I mean, it's, I've been really lucky in my life. Like, for serious. For shizzle. Okay, what aspect should I put in here? Let's see. All right. We already, I guess we're using that one. Damage and poison enemies with a shadow imbued skill has up to 75% chance to create a toxic explosion that applies 170 poisoning damage over five seconds to target and surrounding enemies. A lot of that's going to be wasted a lot of times. But <clears throat> a two handed weapon power increased by 100%. Holy shit. Um, this is a one-handed weapon, though. That sucks. So there's going to be no increase for that. Um, basic skills gain 28% attack speed. Oh, that would be huge. Put that on a one-handed weapon. Put on gloves, you get amulet power increase 50%. Oh my god, bro. It's not worth it on these fucking one-handed weapons. I can imprint it right now, though. I don't have much shit. I don't have many of these left. But attack speed, 28%? I don't know. I'll take that, probably. What's my attack speed feel like right now? Oh, fuck. I don't know, man. I'm not going to use this fucking sword for long, I feel like. It's only a 62. I feel like this is kind of a waste. Mm. When hit while not healthy, a magical bubble is summoned around you. I love that for sure. Um, I could do, I could do, fuck, I could do both of these. I think. Yeah, I could just do both of these. So I can, you know, why, why not? You know what I mean? I'll get, I'll get all these back. You know, F it. F it, you know what I mean? I'm going to do it. Boom. All right, there it is. When, when hit while not healthy... A magical bubble summon around you for 3.5 to 5 seconds while standing in the bubble players are immune. Might as well get the bubble. You know, that'll help me. And then, uh, let's do, um, basic skills attack speed. Let's add some attack speed. Why not? Let's do it. All right. I mean, I might not be using that weapon for long. It'll just be a little... This is a little bit of a quality upgrade for me. I'll take it. 
Can you replay the audio from Jacob crying last night? Yeah, he was a whiner last night. That was crazy. Okay, if you want, I'll probably throw up, though. Under the Mat Radio, great to see you again, brother. What up, Under the Mat Radio? Um, you know, good to see you. Yeah, he was crying a lot last night. You might have retired him after that, uh, D. Welsh. He's been known to do that. I told you he wouldn't last long. I told you he wouldn't be doing nothing in a month. I said that. You destroyed him. We're still waiting for the press conference to start, so while we do that, let's maybe we can find the end last night where you're talking about that. Monetize this last night. Points in the bank. Let's listen if we can. Why did Sean Wolfman block you? I don't know, but he's not. I'm not blocked now because I think it was just one of those random accident things. I think. Oh. Check the uh, stream elements. <laughs> oh fuck! I didn't even look at stream. When fuck. when did Jacob get upset? Word, man. Can you believe D Wells? Can you imagine how much money do you make a year, Jacob? He's got a. Unlike me, what do you mean yeah, unlike me? I work more than you. I work. More can just come in and just take him away. You know what, what? What's crazy is how much Jacob says. Like the things he says aren't true. He just says things that are so not true. It's weird. He's like, "I have a job, Joe. Unlike you, what are you talking about? I work like fucking sixty something hours a week, twenty something hours on YouTube, and forty five hours at my other job. So it's like, bro, what are you talking about? And then he's like, "Oh yeah, well you you're you're a used car salesman or something," and it was like. Okay, but that's not what I do. But in a minute ago, you said that I didn't have a job. So what do you like? What is he? I don't know what he's. He just says things. It's like, what are you saying? You're, you're, wait, you're getting. What did you say? I'm hanging. All right, so I'm gonna clip that right there. Yeah, jugs. She's about to say. It. Where is it? We're gonna find it. And she even goes. She goes. Oh, I'm getting off here. It sounds like. Oh my God, bro. I'm getting off of here. CM yeah, Punk's I'm coming. Off here. Here and she it sounds like she's saying she's getting off. Like that is fucking amazing, dude. We uh, Jill. hey, let me know when CM Punk comes out. I want to hear what he says. I want to finger my pussy to you. Oh my god, what the fuck? Amazing, dude. It's shit. Donation time, mo shit. I gotta fix that. It should have been the Kenny Omega bomb. Snark bait dropping one hundred bucks. Is that RP on the line, by the way? Yeah. 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 Well, you have the energy of a fucking raped seal, bro. Bro, why do you let the Welsh have your show on a chokehold, bro, like that? Like, explain. He's got my show on a chokehold, uh, Jacob. Like, why does he? Why, why don't you? Why don't you get dictate? some? Why don't you get some friends who have a couple of bucks? Why is he dictate? Like, why is he able to just dictate things like that just because he donates all his money? To well, that's you, the bro. point like, of the show tonight: is you can donate points to people. <laughs> I know. But By the like, way, I'm in the lead right yeah. now. I'm winning points in the bank, D. Wells. Fuck yeah, D. Wells. How about that? So, Jacob, you're you're not doing well here. Well, yeah. Every time someone donates to me, he just can just come in and just take them away. <laughs> I'm tied with that's Leah. Not, that's not cool, bro. Like, well, he gave you negative points. What are you gonna do about it, bitch? Like, what are you gonna do about it? Win if D Wells is just there waiting. Why don't you get why don't you get mommy's purse in the next room? Oh what, why don't you go next kids? why don't you go next door? Why don't you go so in you can the, feed your kids with it? Go yeah, bro, go go in the go into mommy's room and grab the purse and grab the credit card like back in the day when you were little when you used to steal from her. Go grab your mommy's credit card and make a dono for yourself. My tax beats crazy. Name, now. You ever think about that, Jacob? Wow, you do that with Ash and Tuck Lob and all those names? Black, yeah, I do it. Black. It's all fake. It's not real. None of it is. You <laughs> would do something like that. Yeah, you damn right, right I would, bitch. Yeah. Oh, it makes total sense, bro. The whole show's not real. You raised a piece of shit. The whole show's not real. <laughs> the whole show's not real. That was really funny. Mr. Pico Boulevard's a member again. Ah. Mr. Pico Boulevard, thank you, sir. Why isn't it popping up on here? I think CM Punk is first out. I don't see him yet, though. Mr. Pico, thank you for the donation, my friend, and also for being uh, producing the show with me a little bit. Mr. Pico Boulevard's kind of a main producer. Fine, brother. 
grab the purse and grab the credit card like back in the day when you were little when you used to steal from her. Go grab your mommy's credit card and make a dono for yourself. Make up a name, brother. <laughs> you ever think about that, Jacob? Wow, you do that with ass and tuck lob and all those names? Black, yeah, black I do it. Black. It's all fake. It's not real. None of it is. You would do something like that. Yeah, damn bad. right I would, bitch. Oh, it makes total sense, bro. Exactly the whole show's not right. real. None of it's real. Oh, there's blow the bubble. your mind, brother. <laughs> it will blow what are you going to do, bitch? You're <laughs> zero. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. I thought that was now. Oh, my God, dude. I just got wicked excited. <laughs> I thought that was now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. I almost came unglued. Oh, my God. I forgot I was watching my stream. Holy shit, dude. I almost came unglued. I actually stopped the show. The, I stopped the replay. That's really going to make Jacob upset. I thought that was a live donation right now. That would have been insane. That would be crazy. All right, calm down. This is recorded. I don't know, man. Snark bait. Thank you, bro. He, he, he just fuck. fucked you and only points, you. Joe. That's going to make that. that w <laughs> Dude, Jacob sounds so defeated. He's like, yeah, whatever. Fuck this. Negative points. Only, uh, a rule would be like doing it only three times and that's it. Maybe. Dude, he could have done minus 67 Omar and then the rest you and would have fucked both of you, but he decided to just fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get it. He's not worried. I don't yeah, think I don't, he's I not don't a threat. Anyone. Anyone, anyone will donate to me. No one gives a shit about it. But that's how you got. That's how you got you sixty know, something could, points. You only have to have a little more. It's not gonna take much now. D Welsh is. D Welsh has saved the show tonight. I think. No, he hasn't. How? By giving you money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you well, know, it made it a little more interesting. Imagine if his yeah. yeah. Imagine if his show didn't make money for a couple of weeks. There wouldn't be a show anymore. You know what some I mean? disabled guy gives you all his disabled disability money. Are you calling him disabled? He's highly he functional. Disabled. Have you seen his fucking face? He makes more money than you do. Listen. From dis disability checks? What the fuck? Yo, he works a regular job and makes more money than you do. Doing yeah, what? Extreme. What do you fucking care? Doesn't matter. Why don't you no, go? Like the why don't you go serve a bunch of white people some alcohol, you bitch? Shit bomb. <laughs> yeah, I have a real Points job. Like you. Yeah, he's got a. Unlike me? What do you mean, yeah, unlike me? I work more than you. I work more than you do. Thank you, Mr. Pico Boulevard. I make a ton of money. I make a million dollars a year, brother. I don't sell. That's. I think you got me. You got me confused with. You got me confused with extreme extreme shaft, brother. No, you don't. I sell vinyl siding, brother. Dude, do you think if I made a million dollars a year, I would be on here taking donations? If I made a million dollars a year, I'd be giving out money. I wouldn't be taking donations. I mean, maybe I'd have memberships or something, and then I'd have a members-only chat to keep the chat clean or something. But, like, yeah, I wouldn't take donations if I was making a million dollars. But he was like, you don't have a job. What are you talking about, bro? Dude, if I didn't have a job, I'd be streaming every day. I would stream every day if I did, like I used to. The reason why I don't stream every day anymore is because I have to work so much. And then he's like, "Oh, it's like, dude, he, I don't know. He's such a fucking idiot." Though it's that was everything he said was wrong. Everything he says is wrong, and he just says it over and over again to himself until he thinks it's real. And then you get in a fight with him, and then he says all the things that are wrong to you, and then you're like, "But those that that's not even right. You, what the fuck are you talking about?" I don't know, bro. It's so weird. Like, he doesn't even know what I do. I've said what I do a million times on the show. You know what I mean? And he still doesn't know. That's crazy. And he's he gets the job wrong, too. Which is fine. Good. I'm glad he doesn't know. But it's like, come on, bro. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm getting fucking stunned. Where's my shadow clones? Oh my god, I'm getting jacked up. Get back in the bubble. No, get back in the bubble. There's a bubble for a reason. Oh my god. I needed that bubble like 10 minutes ago. There was so many... Th like friggin things going on there's my shadow clone right there you see it pop up for a second 
I forget who it was who had the rogue, but there's the shadow clone. And it's like they don't do anything. They just they show up to show you that they're active, I guess, but they don't do anything physically. You just deal higher damage for whatever. Oh, it's weird. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. D Welsh disability checks. That's the thing. D Welsh like works hard. Yeah, I think you got me and Shaft confused. You realize that, right? Joy Belfort. Oh my God. You realize that, right, Jacob? <laughs> Jacob. Dude, this is what drove so many people away from this show, bro. What like, do you mean? You're yelling at me. You're like you're blaming me for all this stuff. And you just said I was a car salesman for Christ's sake. Because my size this never used to be like this. Like one person dictates everything. What are you talking about? Literally what people mean, it was always this. Dude, I mean, what it was do you, dude, wait a minute. Wait a second. Jacob, Jacob, you don't remember when people got angry at Shell and when people got angry at Himmelgod? You don't remember those times? Yeah. And they said they were a dictator. You don't remember that? Somebody always takes over. Dude, you don't remember that? I don't much care for it sometimes. Jacob, it how, Jacob, how many hours a week do you work? More than you. You work more than me? How many yeah. hours do you work a week? More than you. Did you guys did you guys fucking hear him there? Hey, how many hours do you work a week? More than you. More than you. The fuck are you talking about? I doubt you work more than me. Because I work at least 15 to 20 hours on YouTube. And then I work about 45 hours at the shoot job. So I doubt you work more than me. Unless you work 70 hours a week. So, I don't know, bro. But that was the best. More than you. More than you. So you think you work more than a guy who has like $6,000 in bills a month. I got like $6,000 I have to pay every month. I got three kids. Do you really think you work more than I do a week? I want to know that. I want to know what love is. Want you to fudge me. Dude, what I mean, do you, dude, wait a minute. Wait a second. Jacob, Jacob, you don't remember when people got angry at Shell? And when people got angry at Himmelgod, you don't remember those times? Yeah. And they said they were a dictator. You don't remember that? Somebody always takes over. Dude, you don't remember that? I don't much care for it sometimes. Jacob, it how, Jacob, how many hours a week do you work? More than you. You work more than me? How many hours do you work a week? Because I work about 60-something uh, if you add YouTube. Do you work 60-something hours a week? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Why are we fighting? Everybody fucking works. Yeah, everybody works. So what's the problem? Are you going to be all right? Are you going to speak or are you like, are you broken? Nah, bro. This sucks. Like, well, listen, I know you're disappointed, but why attack me? You know what I mean? Fucking say that I don't work. That doesn't make any sense. You know, having the, having the, the fucking little crown or whatever the fuck this shit's for doesn't really. Is that what this is about? No, yeah, bro. You gonna be okay, dude? I mean, what's happening? Nothing. I mean, the show went to hell. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I mean, did you hear it earlier? You're making money. You're happy because you're making money. But like, the show went to hell because he's not winning. That's the funny thing. The, and he's mad. At, he's mad at me because I said the show's awesome. And then he's like, "Why is the show awesome? Because people are donating to you." But then he's upset because people aren't donating for him. So that's the funny thing. The show could be really good or really bad, and the money doesn't matter. The show could be really good and make no money. The show could be really bad and make a ton of money. But he's equating it with how much money is donated to him. But he's not happy when I'm happy that money was donated to me. It was very strange. But it was pretty funny. He was very... He, he sounded depressed. Right. Hey. The point of like I don't know, bro. Like even Luke Rojas isn't like how D Walsh just gets to dictate the whole thing. Like, yeah, it's not fair, bro. Like, what should we do about it? 
There is not going to be what, a fucking. There is no Rojas versus RP or anything. Like, what should we do about it? Well, it. it's not really because I mean, it's still no because the belt's still on the line. Just because me or Leah. Yeah, but either you or Leah is going to win it. Like, that's no, boring, we, bro. no, like, we can cash in the points, but that doesn't mean we can cash in the points. But you, st- we still have to. It doesn't beat mean you. they win the belt. Yeah. Yeah. This is just. Are you me. are you pulling an Amanda know. Carmen before even getting the belt? Is that what's going nah. on? Nah, it's just yeah. like nobody had a chance. Nobody well, I just think, you know, nobody has all a these chance to come out for you. There was nobody is that on the border. Is that what's going on? Like, Bro, nobody has a chance. Nobody has a chance. Is that why Amanda Carmen won the title? Is that why Bobbitt won the title? Is that why Joe Compton won the title? Is that why Gargutz won the title? Is that why S. Dalla won the title? Nobody has a chance, he says. Nobody has a chance. That's what he said. Nobody has a chance. What what kind of crazy crack are you smoking? So many people have won and been able to carry the monetize this championship. But this will be the first time, if someone other than Leah and me win this, it will be the first time this belt is in the hands of a foreigner. This... $500 belt or more that has actual gold in it. Someone might melt it down for the gold in it. That was really funny, bro. That cracked me up. Bless his heart. I, lo- I love him. I felt bad for him. He was very upset. Like there was no... Stings on the media scrum. Can you believe D. Wells? Can you imagine? How much money do you make a year, Jacob? I make a lot of money. How much is a lot? A lot of money. A lot. A lot. It's a lot. He didn't answer at all. He couldn't tell me how long he works. He just said more than you do. And he couldn't answer how much money he makes. I'd tell you, though. I've told you my whole... I've told you how much money I've always made in different years and different times of my life. I'm not afraid to tell you that or how long I work. I'll tell you. But he was afraid to tell us. How long he works, couldn't tell us. How much money he makes, couldn't tell us. Very crazy. But he made all these crazy accusations. I get it. He's, de- you know, listen, I get it. He's down. Not winning the belt. I get it. Sucks when, uh, you know, you don't win all the time. I Look forward it. to going back to London. Uh, last time I was there, I, th- I think it was the last time I was there. I, I thought was Punk was coming out first. The- I thought Punk was coming out first. The young boy can walk farther. <laughs> the young boy. It was a great show tonight, I thought. And uh, here was undefeated tag team of Sting and Darby, who have competed all over the world now in the U.S. and Japan, and uh, on both Forbidden Door shows. And I thought uh, it would be great for everybody to get a chance to talk with them and some of the teams and individuals that wrestled tonight on the Great Forbidden Door paper. All right, let's start this shit. <laughs> let's see Darby uh, take his. Imagine Darby just takes his dong out. Question uh, for Sting. Uh, Looked like uh, in the middle of the match, you got. Um, drilled on your head there. Is everything good with the, with injuries and stuff like that in regards to the match? And yeah, I, I have some some pre match problems with my head. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm I'm good. You're good. Yeah. And then also, um, obviously, um, we're coming up uh, in about two months for All In in London, and that is a very very big event that's going to be there. Um, will you be wrestling on that? And uh, um, also, you did mention about a couple months ago that this might be the last year of your career. Do you think Sting is like? Why do they let Marks ask questions? Have you decided on on a date or just seeing as it goes right now? Uh, I have not decided on a date uh, for sure. A lot of people have actually wondered if I was going to retire in in Wembley. That would be kind of cool, but I don't see that happening. I think I'm going to continue on. Tony's kind of been in my ear a little bit here and there saying, Steve, you can stay as long as you want. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm not sure how long that'll be. But, you know, like I said uh, a few months ago, you know, the the showtime is just about over with. And it 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 truly is. But I'm looking forward to going back to London. Uh, Last time I was there. Last time I was there. I mean, it was a Joker's thing, and the crowd loved it there. And, um, it was not the uh, big arena or the, the big stadium. It was just the arena, but still, great, great crowd. And um, I'm looking forward to heading back over there. Question for Sting. When you go back to coming into AEW at the end of 2020, and here we are two and a half years later, was that, was that kind of the mindset of coming back? Was let's see how this goes? Were you in it that this was going to be a, a multi-year? I'm going to be in this for that amount of time. And also just the come down after some of these performances where you are performing at this level, you are going out there and competing with guys half your age. Tell us a bit about... Darby, we're walking up the ramp. Darby goes, you killed it. You killed it. Peer pressure. Yeah. No. 
No. So, it, you know, one, one day at a time, how am I training now? I mean, I honestly, when I go into the gym, I don't say today's chest day, today's a cardio day, today's a whatever day. I go into the gym based on how I feel, I'll make the next move. So I have yeah. to wait and see how my body's feeling, long story short. You know, you got to check on your body sting. Hi, Sting. I'm Jordan of the Wide World of Wrestling. Just got a question for you here. Uh, Am I going to answer? The Wide World of Wrestling. Any questions? Uh, uh, yeah, never mind. You it's it. been a few years since that you've wrestled in Canada. I was wondering what it was like going back and forth. Ah, like, oh, Sting, hot! You want to stick your nose in my business again? What happened between me and Naito is between me and Naito, okay? You want more? God damn it. That, that scared the fuck out of me, dude. I thought something was up. So Jericho just burst into the into the press conference after Darby was like, I guess I'm not answering any questions. Now look at the look on Tony Khan's face. This is Tony Khan's reaction to Jericho coming out there and breaking something and then smashing his thing across the table and threatening everybody. Tony Khan looks happy, like he's seeing a childhood hero. Tony Khan doesn't look angry. He doesn't look confused. He looks excited, like he's seeing a wrestler he likes Time. why does Tony Khan look like this he's smiling with Chris Jericho you want more time Chris and now he's re dude and, and so like right now he should be upset that Jericho is interfering in the press conference but he looks just fucking <laughs> oh my god dude what is this what is he doing he's like hello there <laughs> like, this is great I love this job oh my god bro what am I looking at Tony Khan the more Jericho is breaking stuff and interfering in the thing the more Tony Khan's like What is this? What is he doing? Wait, how about this? Oh my god, bro. This Wednesday in Hamilton. It's going to be staying. The more Jericho says, the more Tony Khan leans forward to hear him and is like smiling about it. What the fuck? And Darby, this is what I want to I get Sammy Guevara. Oh my God, Tony is just is hilarious. But not Chris Jericho against the Painmaker in a tornado tag match. No rules, no DQ, just you and me sting. You want time? I don't give a fucking time you want. How's that sound, huh? Huh, Sting? Look at this. Oh, 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 oh Jesus. For you. You're gonna get Chris, that shit too. Chris, uh, I, I want it, Tony. Give it to me. That's always happening, Chris. You gotta get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go, go book the match, Chris. But you gotta go. We'll do the match Wednesday, Chris. Please, please, Chris. I'm sorry. Please, Chris. Wednesday night, the match, tornado tag. Yes, but please. Maybe if Sammy Guevara didn't listen to him, he wouldn't be in that dog's office right now. Well, if you're wondering what we think, we're all in. Yeah, definitely. I will, I'll, if you guys are... Ready Wednesday and you're cleared for the match, then yeah, well, let's do it. Wednesday night tornado tag. Is Sammy cleared. Well, Sammy. Well, you uh, saw what happened at the table. He, both, he, both of them. I think you know, both of them, them had to get. This is awkward. This is awkward. It's almost I can't even tell. It's very weird. This is very awkward. It's like it's almost like Darby's, like they're sort of feeding Tony the line like hey like he's in the uh, Sammy even going to be okay like Tony you know like they, they're all it's very weird I like it kind of but like they're it's weird like I don't, like this is a weird thing it checked out after that uh but yeah if Sammy's good good okay good so well, done deal all right well thank you thanks guys I'm sorry uh you didn't get more time thanks I'm sorry you guys didn't get more time uh, with Sting and Darby. We'll, we'll see them Wednesday night on Dynamite. I'm sorry about that. Okay. This is just terrible acting on Tony Khan's part.
Are you okay? Uh, yeah. 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 You got pretty, yeah, we can check you out. Jeez. I'm sorry about that. Chris is out of control. So Chris took a baseball bat, if you didn't see it, and he and he went fuck you too to the to the guy in the front row asking questions. I don't know what reporter it was, and he f- picked up he threw a water bottle up in the air, a, a full water. He threw a full water up in the air and then he bashed it with a bat and it hit the guy in the front row in the side of the head and bounced off him, I think. I I don't know. It might have missed him, but it, like the guy made a noise, like it like it hit him. Like, oh, like and and then Jericho said, "Yeah, you that's what you get." And it was like, oh, shit. So if they didn't plan that and the reporter wasn't in on that, then I almost think the reporter was playing along. Like, he knows the deal and he's just playing into it. He's like, yeah, it hit me in the in the fucking head, in the head, man. Like, and Tony Khan's like, I'm sorry, man. You know, because the guy could have been like, oh, yeah, I'm cool. I'm totally fine, man. I'm, it's no problem. But instead, the reporter was like, oh, no, I got it. Like, oh, my God. You know, and Tony Khan's like, you're all right. I don't know. But either way, it was weird uh and uh and then uh we'll go i think I now know. we've got speaking of crazy out of control matches and somebody who is bloody and injured thank you well thank you great match oh wonderful man i loved it congratulations thank you so much I like the chaotic the media US scrums, champion, though. You know, people can rag on this all they want, but I, I, I like the chaotic, like, media scrums and, you know, doing something like this afterwards. I mean, if they keep trying to, like, sort of dumb it down in, into something to try to make it seem like something amazing is happening and it's nothing that big a deal, um, you know, obviously it's going to get old quick. But I do like the unpredictability of the media scrums. You never know what's really going to happen. I mean, you can really say that. I mean, is it ever going to get as good as that Punk one that time? Probably never, ever again. But, you know, it does – that that did help put the media scrums over for a while that you want to hear and review and talk about, you know, what they did. Like, look what they just did there. You know? Yeah. Will, classic match. Here's Will Ospreay now. They had a classic. They had an amazing match. It was really good. We crazy. Guy cheated to win, but, you know, hey, it happens. Will Ospreay versus Kenny Omega, one of the greatest matches I've ever seen tonight. Oh, thank you so much. It was a great show. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, is he awkward. Great match. One of the best matches ever. Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega, one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. Ever. That's so weird, bro. Let's go back and let's go listen to that again. So, yeah, we heard you the first time, uh, Tony. Sorry about that, Chris. Speaking of crazy out of control matches and somebody who let's listen, let's listen to that again. WGP US champion once again. Classic match. Classic match. Will Osprey versus Kenny Omega, one of the greatest matches I've ever seen oh, tonight. Thank you so much. It was a great show. Oh God, oh fucking hell. Right, let's go. Well, it's gonna be a lot of people wanting to talk to you about that great match, Will. Go for it. Anyone? Hello, Mike. Hello, love. Hi, this is Kate from Fightful. Um, you had said after your first Fuck match you. with Kenny Omega in New Japan Fuck that you, you scumbag fucking you cocksuckers. You lost a pint of blood. You never fully recovered. Why don't you suck yeah. on Sean's fucking dick, you whore? Like you all do over there. Sorry. Like we saw a really similar effort out there tonight. Was there anything that you learned in your first match that helped you kind of prepare in this one to make the adjustments you needed to win your title back tonight? Uh, I, I... Yeah, we know how you got the job, bitch. Worked a lot on the power game uh, for myself, uh, especially I feel like I've done a lot better after I got cut open. Uh, last time when I got cut open, I, I honestly felt like I was losing control of my legs a little bit. I didn't have the legs underneath me. And uh, it was just kind of like a 20 minute. I, I didn't have anything in me. I just tried to fight. This time I felt a lot better. I feel like uh, my cardio endurance was so much better for this one. Uh, the training camp worked. Uh, I trained at the London School of Lucha Libre and I get to go down to the Rev Pro Academy. So, like, getting in there was uh, incredible. So, I-, I was really happy with uh, my performance on this side. Hmm. Okay. Man, it's just something well, you said. Well, today's, today's Salcedo Instinct Culture. So, I want to start off by asking you, given the high... Wait, what did she just say? I thought she worked for Fightful. The oh, fuck did... Man, she sucks. ...standard that you and Kenny Omega set in your last match. How did you feel heading into this match, and how did you feel coming out of it? Uh, I add nothing to anything I ever talk about. (laughs) 
God, she's fucking terrible. A lot of anxiety. I, I won't lie to you. Like, I don't feel like uh, I told my missus this, um, but on the Tokyo Dome one, I've never felt like more in my life, like the world's eyes were on me. I feel like after I said everything that I needed to say to him at the press conference previously, I, I just felt like the world's eyes were on me and I'm not really used to that. Like, I'm like, obviously there's the best super juniors, there's the, the world championships, but I, I honestly felt like for the first time, the world's eyes were on me. Maybe I didn't cope with it very well. Um, but coming to this one, I had that same anxiety, that same like just pacing up and down my hotel room, kind of like a tiger in a zoo, eh? just wanting to fucking chew on something. Um, but I was uh, heading weird. out there. I uh, I kind of had to embrace my inner Paul Robinson uh, and just kind of like my mission was to fight 13,000 people. And uh, I came out on top, eh? Man, his accent uh, well, sucks. Liam Crowley, comment from Zocom. First off, it's an honor and a privilege to watch you ever compete on American television, let alone in person. All um, right, two big loser. Tonight, Okada versus Danielson and you versus Omega. Three of those four These guys are fans asking questions. Leading up to Forbidden Door. You know, the show last year, a lot of injuries plagued it. Yet you still competed on Rampage and other promotions. Uh, it's a, Like I said, it's an honor to watch you wrestle. But why is it important for you uh, to still have these matches leading up to the big show? And then on top of that, uh, you mentioned the frustration with clap, clap, clap crowd wrestling in Japan. Clap, 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 clap. Uh, the energy was um, spectacular. I can never like you just keep doing that the whole thing. It's just all right. Will Osprey's boring. And then uh, there was an incident, literally this last month when I was wrestling Tanahashi. I think it was May. It was still in June. Oh, yeah, so it was one month ago. I hit the storm break and my shoulder came out. And I've never felt like that. That's, so there is like a weakness here. But I don't want to present that in these type of matches, especially with Kenny. Um, so thankfully, like, uh, it held together absolutely fine. I, I feel great. I mean, like, obviously, like, in terms of, like, woozy and everything, like, a little bit all over the shop. Like, I just went in there and done a 40-minute match. Of course, I'm going to feel like that. But just, I, I can't tell you enough, man. Like, that, that's probably, like, one of the most happiest moments of my life. Right? Like, that's, that's incredible. I've never like, felt that before in my entire life. Like, Literally had like 13,000 people just like hating my guts. And there's like, <laughs> like fucking the whole time, just like 13,000 plus versus one. Like, <laughs> uh, don't get in trouble with any of the Canada, the Canada flag stuff. I, oh, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I mean, you were new, thankfully, you worked for New Japan, not for AEW. <laughs> <laughs> to your delight. <laughs> Oh well, you man, were, you were amazing. It was an amazing match. You and Kenny was amazing. Was Come on, I need to use it. Incredible match. Oh. And I felt like it hasn't come up in the questions, and I know it came up in the commentary. But for those of you in the live crowd, I felt like after seeing your match earlier this year at Wrestle Kingdom at the Tokyo Dome, Kenny really took it to you physically and beat the hell out of you. I'm running the ring. out. And I felt like you wanted to take it to him and do that to him tonight. I, I wanted to do it in his back garden as well because he did it in mine. And like, I know Kenny who had that history with Japan. Of course he does. But it was like, I'm the guy that like... It's funny how Will Ospreay, when he's doing this press conference, it's like he's so happy, like a little kid, and he's likable and smiling, and he seems like such a good guy. And it's actually kind of impressive because out there he was such a prick. It felt like and like was very coming off very scummy. So all you can say to that, and I've made fun of Will Ospreay before, and I've said goofy things that I don't like him all whatever that much and whatever. I don't really see what I don't care, but I will say the man in the press conference as himself, he comes off very likable. But out there in the ring earlier tonight, he was very, you know, heel and dastardly, and man, he just seemed like a fucking villain straight up. But now, in the press conference, he, he's, he seems like the kid you'd want to hang out with or something. I don't know. So, uh, you know, good on him for being able to uh, kind of shift personalities and, you know, do what a wrestler should be able to do, obviously. But And that was to make us, you know, believe. I don't... I still don't know how I feel about wrestlers like coming out of their character and breaking kayfabe like an hour after the show you know but whatever you know we're in that mode at this point now although tony khan's at the press conference pretending things are happening but then the next second they're talking about how they just faked it out there and you know this is a work you know so it's like which one is it it's so confusing 
We got a legendary ring or something that just dropped. Oh man, I'm taking some damage. You know, so it's it's one of those weird things. You know, I don't really. I, it's like I get it. We're in a different. We all know it's a work. We all. It's like going to a play. But if, you know, if you go to a play, at the end of the play, they don't. The people acting don't sit out. Oh, maybe they do. I mean, maybe they do sit outside and sign autographs. I don't know. But they don't hold a press conference and talk about their performance of the character later. You know what I mean? Like, you just kind of go in with the mystery of, okay, these actors and actresses are playing these parts, and how do I feel about the show? And then it ends. You don't hear from them after. So it's it, wrestling is just different. There's nothing like it that, that does what they do. So the rules are, you know, what people think of the rules of what you can do and not do. It's like they're not really they're whatever they want to do. Well, we only got one legendary so far in this run. Kind of disappointing. Let's go back to Will Ospreay. I'm sorry. I haven't clicked the button yet to take us back to him. When it, when it became like a uh, question. Hold on. Thank you. Not like his Thank you. Oh, we got another oh, one. Good. Oh, wait. Oh, you want me to piss off? Oh, no, 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 no. Is there any, any all, all one going? Any takers? One, any more for Will? I, well, I know it was an incredible match. I don't want to give Will the bomb to us. That's, That's He's amazing. Incredible. incredible. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Critical uh, strikes with core. <laughs> Man, Tony is. Yeah. Good talk, good talk, sport. Um, you know, we, you've talked about being an international star oh and, and representing, you know, different places across the world. Wembley's coming up. Is the door going to get pried open? Maybe is Tony going to let you appear and, you know, really give the English fans what they want? Uh, listen, what do uh, they want? The day's free. Um, I'm wrestling Shingo the day before. What do they want? Do you even know what they want? I don't know what they want. Do you? Six thousand seat around. That'll be wonderful. How does this guy know what they want? <laughs> You want money for that now? Like, oh, some money, please. <laughs> but, um, man, he's a, just, guy. he's a wonderful dude. Eh? Just never gets back to anyone's text messages. Get back to me. No, but, um, I, honestly, I would love to. Uh, it is this once again, I don't work here. Uh, I, but nothing would make me feel prouder as, a, as an Englishman who has flown the flag for my country, even in the good and bad times, to celebrate it in Wembley Stadium, just like Freddie Mercury. Just like Oasis, I would Oasis. Love to just prance down there, skipping along like some dozy twat. I would love that. But it's down to Tony, um, and I hope we can work something out. It would be incredible to see all you guys like be a blessing, especially for my country. Like, I love our scene, I love our fan base, and it's just like it's so cool. Like that grand scale show is going to happen literally like 40 minutes from my house. I'm, I'm gonna be there regardless. I'll come watch. Hey, eh? like it's just can't be. Eh? It's an amazing time to be a wrestling fan. Amazing time to just want to be part of AW. Want to be part of New Japan. Just like Tony's loving this. He's putting it over moving, big time. And I just I, honestly, I'm just looking forward to. It. He's looking for a job, is what he's looking for. Yeah, all good though, guys. Like bless you all. Bless you uh, unless you guys are from Canada and suck my. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so Thank so you. much for having me, mate. Really do appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Will. Put that belt over your shoulder, you cocksucker. Come on. You guys did that voluntarily. I just, I, I wasn't forcing it. I would really hope you, I thought that was one of the greatest matches. I just felt like it was the right thing to do. I hope you didn't feel like I pressured you to clap. It was great. I love Tony, man, but he is so bizarre. Like, I love him. I would need to, he needs a person in his ear on, like, to produce him. Tony needs someone who, like, produces him. Like, Tony, don't apologize. You look weak. You're nice. Like, just fucking own it. You're a fucking beast. That's what you are, Tony. Don't apologize. Don't backstep and apologize. Don't, none of that shit. You're a fucking goddamn, you're richer than everybody here. Fuck them all. You're smart. 
Like, I don't know, bro. Have a cup of tea there. Unbelievable. Ugh. Well, you know, if anybody wants to say anything else, I mean, you can super chat, you can stream lab up top, donate if you like. They plan to do an American expansion. What expansion? Um, Mr. Pico says, why does Japan have the U.S. title? That's like Australia having the African title. Because <laughs> they want to cross over with the United States audience. You know, they got to have a belt for the U.S. guys. Because New Japan has so many U.S. guys, it makes sense to have a U.S. you know title, right? Right? Come on, that's, I mean, that's the answer. It's pretty easy to figure that out, right? Come on. Is there really? There's not really an African audience. I feel like so that would just that would that wouldn't make sense. You're right. You know. Let's get some more coin, brother. What the fuck? Mm. Um, grenade skills count as trap skills. Not going to use that, although that's interesting movement speed. Uh, boots. Kind of shit. This ring's kind of shit. Both of these. Kind of shit. Oh, my God. Get off the stool, you bitch. We got to go back to the press conference. Great. Uh, speak. Yeah. East America, America. Oh my God, Tony Storm looks cracked out. Did you were looks like you were in your starting gear uh, for this show. You know what's funny is, do you guys remember when Tony Storm was a face and she was doing the press conference and everybody said she looked disinterested and she looked strung out. And uh, she really did. She looked like she didn't want to be there. She looked kind of drunk or something. And everybody was like, yeah, she seems like she sucks. Well, now she's actually acting like that on purpose. <laughs> like, like, this is really funny. She's actually playing into it. But at least she now, she now actually looks like she's engaged because she's enjoying treating the people the way she really felt she wanted to treat them, which I think is really what's going on here. So... Um, was there any type, was it, you know, obviously this is a, a code New Japan show. Um, New Japan is affiliated with stardom. Um, was that a choice? And then also the fact, um, man, this guy's question sucks. I don't blame her. And she's looking like, I want to react to you and shit on you, but I can't cause you keep talking and asking more stupid question. That, um, earlier today, Julia did mention that she did want to come to America um, she had challenged Will Nightingale um, for Independence Day, but um, obviously um, she's a very, very great wrestler, and people are very, very hoping that she does come here, at least to America. And would you like to face her? So the gear, um, so the reason why I wore that gear was because um, it just happened to arrive in time for the show. Um um, and Julia, yeah. You want to see me slap the tits off her too? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Bring Julia. Yeah. I'd be such a huge honor. Is that what you want me to say? That would be just, oh, you want me to mark out for Julia? Oh, well, I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't care. I know you all like her and you'll think she's, oh, wow. But... What do I look like a fucking mark to these people, Tony? Oh yeah, it would be a huge honor. Yeah, sweet. I can't wait. Well, uh, you are Let's a former uh, champion in stardom, and I thought your gear was a cool tribute to the Forbidden Door. And the second year in a row, you've been on the Forbidden Door show, but this year you come out as a champion and uh, as a two-time champion. I thought it would be good for you to have a chance to address the media. It wasn't a tribute gear, Tony. It was just arrived in time. There you go. You got your answer. It's weird because, like, Osprey is, like, himself. But Tony Storm is in character. It's so... Everybody's... It's just so all over the place. It's like you just don't know what's going on. But you do. 
Hi, Lex Tan, Mark from uh, Ringside Heat on Eastside 960 AM. Uh, nice to meet you, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and uh, nice to meet you too. Um, first of all, I mean, like, congratulations on preventing your. You know, it'd be imagine right now if Tony Storm was like, "Yeah, nice to meet you too." Uh, d just don't come in your pants. Look, imagine. <laughs> championship again and uh, being successfully retaining it uh, I just have to ask you ever since uh, Soraya and Ruby I wonder if Tony I wonder if Tony Khan is thinking right now this guy's more of a mark than me he ran started running with you you've been having the advantage in your matches for sure fairly or unfairly that's not really for me to say uh, but uh, how does that feel to have them back you up the way they do I mean we're a sisterhood. That's what we do for each other. Uh, and it's, you know, because of this barrier, let's keep going. What else is there to do? All right. I can't take any more of this. It's pretty good, but, like, you know, I'll listen to more of this later. I need to take a break, bro. These questions for her. These guys can't get questions to her that, that make any sense because they're, they're too busy wanting to wax their carrot. I don't know, man. And, uh... I may be back tonight, but I'll be on Twitch. If I may, I may stream on Twitch. Okay, so if I do, you'll see me on Twitch. But if not, I'll be back at some point tomorrow with something. Is it really one in the morning? Holy shit, bro! I, feel, I thought it was eleven o'clock at night. Like I don't know why my time is way off. Um, I will catch you guys later. I thank you for being here. I've been streaming for four and a half hours. That's crazy. Um, and I will see you uh, tomorrow. Thanks to everybody who was here last night for Monetize This. We had a fucking blast. And uh, everybody that was here tonight, thank you as well. Denise Salad Tosser. Her voice makes me want to hurt Ronald McDonald. Catch you guys later. Thanks for being here, everybody. Hit that like button on the way out if you can. And really, if you want to support my show even more, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. We need you as a $25 producer, like Mr. Wood, who just became a $25 producer. We need you over there, man. $25 producers, we will get you on the producer list, and you'll be put uh, on that tier if you want. Good night, everybody else. Five bucks a patron, $1 patron, whatever. It all helps out. Uh, and thanks to Allison Tuckwab, top dono here tonight, and everybody else who stopped by to say hello. And if you missed me flipping out earlier tonight, you want to go listen to that, I guess. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.